All right, in the colony, prepare yourself for this one. There's a museum dedicated to some very strange artwork, okay? It sits right outside the restrooms in a little place called the truck yard. Isn't it funny the things we find? <laughs> we asked photojournalist Mike Kinney to <laughs> flush out the story. Truck yard, the name comes from, well, one, we have a very large yard, uh, and uh, yard seating like you might have seen at your grandmother's house, but we also have food trucks in the backyard. It's the big backyard you never had. I'm Jason Boso and we are in the truck yard in the colony. Really I built it where I wanted to hang out, where I could both take my wife and we could chit chat about the day or if my dad comes in town I could take him there and he feels comfortable. So we have quite a few different offerings. We've got a Sour House Brewery here. We have a kind of a hidden tiki bar here. Live music most days of the week. Have a couple interesting pieces of art. We are standing in the International Museum of Toilet Seat Art. I think this one's pretty. I found Mr. Barney Smith on some late night Google search and uh, he's 97 years old. He'd been doing this art for 80 years. Just a plumber and uh, was an artist always in his inside of him, but he didn't have a canvas. But as a plumber, when you're replacing toilets, hey, he's got a free toilet seat and that's where he started making his art. That's Mr. Barney Smith. That's the shed that was in his backyard. For many years, he displayed 1,800 toilet seats in his backyard to anyone who would call him and want to see the collection. One of my favorites is a, a general brought back from Iraq, Saddam Hussein's toilet. What lucky woman doesn't want a toilet seat art for their 57th wedding anniversary? He was very proud to have a toilet seat from Air Force One uh, this, the 60s version of Air Force One, and he was proud to say that Jackie Onassis had used this toilet seat at some point. Yeah, he was actually on, in hospice when we were getting this done, and his family kept calling us to say, please hurry up, we don't know how much longer he has. He got to come see this, I wheeled him in, a tear came out of his eye, he realized his dream come true, and he passed away five days later. Everyone should grab a drink at that bar right there and just stroll around in here for 15 minutes. You won't forget it. Holy cow, big thanks to our photojournalist, oh, Mike Kinney. Yes, that was incredible. Honestly, that's pretty amazing. It is, gotta go now. We have to, well, not. We we have no more potty humor. <laughs> We're done. Thanks for watching. Evening news is coming your way next.